is up guys we are live here in ontario california at the biggest gallery in this area in southern california what's up shane last time we saw you was in sacramento at the miwok element was it like a middle school yeah, uh, yeah, it used to be Sutter Middle School, then they changed it to Miwok Middle School. Yeah, it was an exciting time. They changed the name to Miwok Middle School there in, in Sacramento. You did this beautiful, huge mural, um, almost double the size, right? Oh, gosh, it was probably triple the size. I think it was triple. 125 feet wide by 35 feet tall. So freaking hip. It's out of control. Artists are coming from all over the room. DJs are coming from all over the room. Here's what happens. Every third Saturday, they do a crazy party here. DJs come out, tattoo artists come out, artists from all over the world display their art inside this beautiful, amazing gallery, which we're about to see. This is the owner and proprietor, Mia and Danae. Hi, how are you? Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thanks for having us here. Yeah. This is an amazing experience for people in this area. There's not much around here except for the car wash next door. So <laughs> it's pretty fun. Cool. It's a beautiful crazy. Does it work good? Yeah. Every week I go there. Every week you go there? Give them a plug. Give back the show, show, real quick. Oh, my show, show. God. I'm watching the show. You're next. We're going to interview you next. Beautiful. Ontario, California. Yeah, let's go, baby. Not a lot of stuff goes on here, but the trucks, the car wash. So we're excited about this freaking gallery. Everybody's excited about it, right? Yeah, it's it has. Really, like, artists have, have come out of the woodwork from all over. They want to exhibit. They want to put on shows. They want to do events. Um, all kinds of stuff. Take the arts district, the arts district. Yeah. Is, this, is this called the arts district? Yep. Yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah, this is the downtown Ontario arts district. I mean, there actually is a lot of things happening in our city. There is. Tell us, <laughs> tell us more. Tell us, Mia. I mean, Ontario is like a big, small town. I mean, yeah. um, we have an international airport. International that's airport. Totally getting expanded. We have a, a major arena, the Toyota Arena, who has all like huge we have, we have a convention center. Um, they're doing a whole LA Live situation down in that district. Um, there's housing going up everywhere. I mean, the city is like ready to explode. We have a great park, which is going to be like bigger than Central Park. Um, we have all kinds of stuff, actually. There's all kinds of stuff there's happening. You guys kinds. didn't even know. Thank God we showed up. Yeah. There's a freaking <laughs> arena. Ontario yeah. Airport, everybody flies in. Basketball players fly into that place. Yep. Um, yep. Special assembly members fly into that airport. It's a big airport. I love that airport. It's huge. Because it's huge, but it's not too LAX-y. No. It's nice right. and tight, right? So much better. Plus, we have our museum just got accredited. Yep. The this museum? Uh, well, no. Oh, the, okay. We have a gallery. Oh, gallery. Sorry. But we have the Ontario Museum of Art and History. Oh, no. And so, you It'll know. on the circuit. That puts us on the map with the all map. the other museums in the country. So, oh. um, so watch Ontario. It's happening. Ontario's happening. Did it, why is it called the Art District? Did, did it used to be kind of a flowing kind of art area? Here? Yeah. What? So, so yeah, this was a zone. Well, it was actually. Thank you, Shane. <laughs> It's actually pretty much newly zoned, the Arts District. Oh, newly zoned. It, newly zoned, and in fact, like right across the street, that's newly zoned, the Entertainment District. So they kind of rezoned all of these downtown areas so, so they can kind of be developed in a way that makes sense. But um, we have artist lofts just down the street. Um, about 50 of them, uh, live work lofts, and then um, now we have Home Palm, the retail store, and then the Untitled Gallery. So, little by little, we're actually building a restaurant too um, here. here. Oh, yeah, we gotta come back. Yeah, Old J Town Pizza. Yeah, it's gonna Old be Town called Pizza? Old Town Pizza. Oh, Old Town Pizza. Old, o for Ontario. O for Ontario. Old Town Pizzeria, that's coming up. Um, and just all kinds of things. We're gonna be doing all kinds of things down here. It's amazing. So, they redistricted because the thing is, there's so many exciting things going on in Ontario. Yep. Let's go check out inside. Let's go. Let's do it. Cubo. Yep. Cubo did this. Cubo did this. Yeah. He's finishing it up. Shout out to Cubo. Cubo coming on the show. Race with him.
Yeah. artists are automatically like drawn to our gallery Ooh, nice. um, so it's, it's kind of evolved that way is it because this place is gangster i think so I OG. Think, OG. 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 <laughs> i think it's just like gritty and the chains edgy. and the black walls it's Ooh. edgy and they like it and we like them so um so we do a lot of street art a lot of graffiti art um but we do abstracts oil sculptures all kinds of stuff Let's walk around. I think that what people are going to like about this place, and I think what draws artists to this place is exactly what you said. The change in the walls, the different way of uh, putting up the gallery, the different way of displaying these paintings, um, it kind of probably makes the artist feel more comfortable here, right? Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's like welcoming you, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Less intimidating. Less intimidating. Not as intimidating. Like uh, there's not a there's not a chauffeur in the front like waiting for them to Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Th this is a place it's where it's not stuffy. Yeah. And boring. And right. stale. And stale. Yeah. Love and boring. And boring. Mine is boring. So it's a place like yeah, it's like, look at I mean, oh look at these things. Look at these churches. Oh, this oh, from yeah. a church? These are church pews. So the building that Shane is doing his mural on yes. was an old church. No way. So um, it was a church since like the 80s. So we, um, they, they kind of like went, moved. They moved. And so they gave us their pews. They gave them to you? Uh-huh. The so, Lord is blessing yes. us. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Plus we own the building. So, yeah. Oh, plus you own the building. So everything in here is mine. Exactly. Exactly. So it's perfect because... People sit and chill for a long time during the shows. Well, and right? they're, 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 they're also in the right direction. So you, exactly. You can, so you can just, because normally in a, in a gallery sitting in LA, for instance, you're walking around, it's spatial atmosphere. Um, there's nowhere to freaking sit. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. usually, yeah, you do your revolution yeah. of looking at all the art, and then you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm leaving. Yeah. Here, because we also throw a big block party, they go buy a beer, they eat something, they, you know, they come and chat for like, literally, you'll come back and an hour later, the same people will be here, just yeah. hanging out. So they can chill here. See, that's yeah. the difference. It's like a chill spot. Yeah, that's the difference is people will be able to like hang out instead of just like you do, like you said, circulation and then they're out. Mm -hmm. um, there's not even cocktail tables in some of those places. It's crazy. Um, give us a, give a, give us an idea of what you pointed that way. Is it, is there stuff like happening outside there, group events and vendors like that? Yeah, so like, During the third Saturday. <laughs> um, so during third Saturday. Paper, by the way. <laughs> um, so we we do an opening reception, right, for our new art show. But then on top of that, we we throw a big party. So we it's called Third Saturdays. Third Saturdays. Third Saturdays. DTO. Boom. It's at night, five to ten, and we um, we invite all the food trucks. We invite um, local vendors, m 
merchants. Oh, you and know. there's like a space for them to set up up there? Yep, we cool. have a big lot back there, but we shut down like all the streets surrounding the streets as too? well. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So, so we have about 50, 60 um, vendors, wow. you know, maybe like 10, 15 food trucks. Um, we tattoo artists, DJs, nice. live painting, um, just whatever we can get, honestly, to kind of add to the environment. Yeah. And um, and then that creates, you know, a whole vibe and people like it. And so it, get, it's, it gives the community somewhere to go on a Saturday night yes. once a month. It's free and uh, it's free. And uh, you literally are like hanging out with your neighbors, hanging out with your fellow um, Ontarians. <laughs> On, Ontario, I, the natives are wrestling. <laughs> Ontarians, is that what you call I just made that up. Is that <laughs> Ontarians. Sounds good. But literally, like it's it's creating a community down there, awesome. which is which we think is cool. What did you what What did you when you were when you were envisioning this place, Mia? Well, are you an artist yourself, or you're, you're, is, that, is that what it is? I'm an artist. Uh huh. Awesome, awesome. So you paint stuff like that. I paint, uh, do graphic design, interior design, um, architectural design, all kinds of stuff. So what made you say, I'm going to just put this gallery, what was the whole reasoning behind putting a gallery right here? Uh, you, you, do you live around here? Um, yeah, close by. Hometown, close by. hometown area, you're like, I'm going to put this gallery. What was the, what was the initial like, like explosion in your brain that said, let's do this? Well, I mean, initially we had a building that we weren't doing anything with. <laughs> that makes it easy. <laughs> so we have this building. Um, you know, we actually got our inspiration. We went to see the Basquiat exhibit. The Basquiat? What's yeah. That? At the Grand Olympia. You know, uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. He's an oh, artist. Okay. So he's, uh, he's like a, he's, he's not around anywhere, but he, he's a really famous artist. Yeah. Um, street artist, um, all of that. He did work with Andy Warhol. Oh, no way. So yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, he was, he was around in the 80s. Oh, in the 80s. Um, yeah. So like we, so we came from, so our, originally our business was in Claremont. Claremont's very kind of stuffy and old Do you have a coffee shop? <laughs> I heard. Art wise, you know, the art's very like, you know, it's a traditional painting of a stream or, you know, a tree or whatever. French uh, linen. <laughs> French linen. And you know, the walls are white. So yeah, and the canvas needs to be French linen. And so like when I first heard, um, opened the shop, you know, we got a lot of these art critics, you know, from Claremont who are like, oh, this is how art's supposed to be done, and mm -hmm. you can't do that, and this is not real art, and, you know, this is more home decor, it's not art. So we were kind of like, you know, we're just going to do whatever we want. Nice, I love it. So you had an art gallery over there in Claremont? Um, well, in our, no, at home, home, we have a gallery, and we, that's our retail store. Oh, 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 oh. In Claremont? No, it's no, here. here. Oh, okay. it's, it's the other building. Uh, well, what were you doing in Claremont, though? You said uh, you, you had a business. We, real estate and construction. Okay, real estate and construction. That's, okay, we, that's our core business. Nice, nice, heck yeah. <laughs> that's heck what yeah. pays the bills. Um, so we were there for like 12 years. Okay. But when we opened Holton Pond down here in Ontario, we kind of, you know, at, we would still go over there visit. You know, we know people who own galleries over there. Mm. And then they, in turn, came here. And that's when it's like, you know, you know, uh, don't do this, don't do that, you know, so our, like, our feeling was, you know, if Basquiat, who's painting himself for, like, $10 million. Wow, by the way. On furniture blankets. <laughs> furniture blankets. <laughs> Strung up with some two-by-four. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, really? Very, like, raw, right? That's cool. And uh, we always say, you know, if Basquiat was around, these people would be criticizing him, and they probably wouldn't even let him in the gallery. 100%. They didn't even uh, like Van Gogh until he was dead. So exactly. Crazy. Exactly. He's the only one right now when he gets famous. This show won't be famous until years ago when I passed away. Yeah. Watch it. Yeah. Um, Once you're murdered, this will go well, viral. Yes, after these girls murder me today, this is going to go viral. This will be the best video ever. Um, so that's crazy. That's It's interesting. That this is more of a rebellion. It's a rebellion because there, yeah. there's, a, there's a thing happening in art, and it happens in most arts things like music for instance or painting yeah. it, you you get you get so far into the edge so then that edge actually becomes the rule and then there's yes. and then and then it takes people like you to break through the new edge and create this new kind of atmosphere so so this is amazing because you 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 found a place where 
you can get out of your out of the out of the way, actually into your comfort, to where you can do things the way you want to do it. And by doing so, you've also created a safe spot for other artists who probably wouldn't even be able to go into Claremont Galleries, right? Totally true. Yeah, totally true. Okay. Yeah. Nothing yeah. I mean, against Claremont Galleries. If you want me there next week, I'll be there. <laughs> uh, and uh, anyways. Yeah, this is amazing. Still have love for Claremont. Still have love for Coffee shops, anything. Come, hit me up. They can't help it. Hit me in the DM. Oh, they can't. Ooh, oh, I didn't say that. Jesus. Oh, my God. Crazy, crazy. Um, should we go look at the retail side of things? Yeah, let's do oh, it. Awesome. Let's do it. All right, so this is your retail store? Uh, this is a retail store. Holt and Palm. Holt and Palm. Mm -hmm. uh, Holt and Palm. Holt and Palm. Obviously because we're on Holt and Palm. Ooh, that is so, the uh, We do home decor, art, of course, plants, lots of plants, furniture, books, furniture, card. Let's walk inside. So this is your retail store. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey. Good. What's your name? Jason. Jason. What do you What do you think about the store? <laughs> it's awesome. I actually built a lot of the store. You built yeah. the store, bro? Yeah. He, we great job. He's one of our crew members on our construction team. No way, yeah. dude! Amazing. Great job, dude. Yeah, it's a lot of work here. Heck yeah! That sick, sick details, the, the, yeah. the lumber and stuff like that. Great. Kept the wood like not only like a modern feel, but also kind of the wood uh, thing as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be working on the restaurant soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. Thanks, Jason. Bye. Crazy. When did you guys open this store? Uh, we've been open about a year. About a year. Yeah. Wow. It took us about a year to renovate, and then we, now we've been open about a year. So this was the first step. Yeah, you created your store. First step. First step. Um, so originally we bought this building to for our office, our real estate and construction office. Oh, okay. But because it's in the arts district. Um, we needed a consumer-facing front, so... You mean you had to? <laughs> so no, no so you, know, you, you had to follow the rules by creating this awesome store? Sort of, but it's become a happy accident, you know. Awesome, awesome. Uh, but because we're in real estate, we thought, oh, interior design, you know, we do vacation rentals, we do all of that, so it's 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 complimentary. Heck yeah, heck yeah. So it works with the theme, you're able to stay within brand and make it all work together. Uh, is that your? Is that the offices back there? That is the real estate and construction side. That's where we work oh during Lord. the day. And then during third Saturday, we uh, we roll our desks out and then that becomes a gallery. Oh, so you change that as you guys see yeah. paintings on the wall. You can see, so that too. was from our last show. Crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah, and in our construction team, we, they did all this work. This was a abandoned building for over, yeah, like no, 20, man. maybe 30 years. It was like was an abandoned. automotive repair shop at mm -hmm. one point. Oh, wow, so yeah. you had like a pile of grease in here that you had to like scrape out? It was it just was a disaster. Knee deep in dirt. <laughs> Knee deep in dirt skis, oh my gosh. Yeah. But prior to that, like this building is from the 20s. And it was an automotive showroom, like back in the 20s. Oh, wow. So, so there were cars here in the showroom, and then they did like light assembly out in the warehouse. Holy moly. You saved this building from I we mean, did. possible destruction in the future. Yeah, and then we got, we, the city gave us the, it's called the Model Colony Award. So for Model re, Colony Award? That's for rehabilitating historical buildings. Man. So we got that. That's and, amazing. That's a huge, that's a huge compliment for you guys and yeah. what you're doing here. You're creating. I think you're you're creating a light in this city that this city definitely needs, right? It needs a revitalize. They're starting. You're talking about. You were talking about on the way over here. You were talking about how they started to revitalize areas, mm -hmm. and you guys are the first part of that. It's almost like you started it for the city and now they're catching up. Is that true? <laughs> you know, I mean, if you want to say that, <laughs> if you want to say trendsetters, <laughs> I am calling you trendsetters. I mean, exactly. this is what a lot of people build things reflective of what the neighborhood is yeah. so what we did is we built something that's totally opposite what the neighborhood will be i love that it's it's like it, i love i get it you're making it to what you think the neighborhood should be like, yeah and can be so can a lot be. of people come in and they're like what is this doing here in you know downtown ontario but it, you know i definitely think this is a glimmer of how Everything will be, you know, give us a couple years. Heck yeah, that's amazing. You have a positive outlook on the future of Ontario, California. This is the start of something new, my friends. Live here in Ontario, California, the Untitled Art Gallery next door, the Holt and Palm Gallery store, where you can buy all these fixings, these beautiful.
beautiful. I think I want my whole house to look like this. Just take everything in here if I could we afford can make it. it happen. Just put <laughs> it in my house. Happen. It would be amazing. Thank you so much for showing us around. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing this for this community. I think you're 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 expanding the minds of the people that live in this area. Oh, awesome. Well, we we love being a part of the community. Yep. It's been there, you know, in the city is amazing. Everyone in the city, the mayor, the city council, like literally everyone super supportive. So, you know, I don't think without the like open arms and welcoming vibe, uh, we went, you know, makes it easier, right? Oh, it makes it so much easier. Yes. Yes. Mia, Danae, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it. Guys, don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and comment. Even if you yes. have some crazy comments, comment on this video. Love to have you no guys. No publicity. <laughs> Juice Gang, yeah, no bad publicity. Juice Gang Gang, Juice Gang Gang. Stay thirsty, not dangerous, my friends. And cut. Bye.